Hello all, Shadwell here, ready to talk about the next film in my collection, A Beautiful Day in the Neighborhood from 2019. It's directed by Marielle Heller and stars Matthew Reese and Tom Hanks. Who is the evil genius who thought, you know who would make a great Fred Rogers? Tom Hanks. Sorcery, I say. This film makes you feel a lot of different feels. Anger, sadness, empathy, regret, happiness, lots of emotions, at least for me. I cry tears of sadness and tears of joy while watching this movie. But back to Tom Hanks as Fred Rogers. He is so quiet and soft in the role, but that doesn't mean he's a softy pushover. That scene where Lloyd suggests Fred's sons must have had a difficult life with with Fred Rogers being their dad, the silent intensity that Hanks has in response to that assertion before finally speaking kind of scared the shit out of me when I watched the film for this review. The filmmakers that decided to frame the whole story within an episode of Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood were just as evil of geniuses as the evil genius that saw Tom Hanks and thought, Mr. Rogers, it's perfection. But I think the thing that gets buried when talking about this movie is the performance of Matthew Reese and his character of Lloyd Vogel, who is hardened his heart against forgiving his father, played by Chris Cooper, for a very old but no less painful event in his childhood. Vogel gets assigned to do a piece on Mr. Rogers that brings everything Lloyd holds resolute into question, and the film is a beautiful deep dive into Lloyd's journey of forgiveness. Does this mean that everyone deserves forgiveness? Probably not but it's always worth taking a second look at the situation to size it up honestly. Matthew Reese is incredible in this movie and that look of vulnerability he gets on his face at several points is a thing of beauty. A masterclass in a single look. And the performance of Chris Cooper as Lloyd's father Jerry is brilliant as well, as is practically everyone else in this movie. It certainly feels like Tom Hanks is staring right through my TV set and deep into my soul at several points of the movie, including a very sneaky fourth wall break when you're not expecting expecting it during the diner scene near the end of the film. This film takes some very hard and uncomfortable topics and talks about them plainly and frankly in a way that not just lets you understand them, but makes you look again at the way you thought you knew those topics. This movie is a very deep, soulful experience, and I suggest that if you watch it, which you should eventually, you need to block off the afternoon and be prepared to feel a lot. I'm giving A Beautiful Day in the Neighborhood an A+. Tomorrow I talk about Ron Howard's film A Beautiful Mind. See y'all then.